time laying in a war bonnet traveler. And it's me and Miller Gear, Medicine Man, and Little Debbie up here at this campsite near Fence Trailhead where the MST crosses the Table Rock Trail. But we're just sitting here in this evening rainstorm. There's been a couple of thunderstorms come through. I'm just going to kick back here and enjoy this. I uh, think I'll just nod off and see you tomorrow. How do you like my little pointy-ended top crow? See? How come I don't have one of those? Because you ain't asked for one. Thank you very much. You're pretty welcome. Well, that's mighty neighborly of you. That is not Folks. recording. There's no way. There's no you know what he lying. done? He done, in the middle of the rain, brought me scotch. Isn't that a friend or what? <laughs> Enjoy. Well, you wind up like me. Here I am boiling water for coffee. Sitting here with little Debbie. She just spent her first night in a hammock. Reported good results. I'm using this mini atomic with a penny on it because I lost a screw. It's doing alright. We got here in a torrential downpour. And we survived. What'd you say, Steve? We swam into camp. That's it. So I'm going to shut down here and have some coffee. has a cluster of five needles, and you count five, this is white pine, it's got more vitamin C per pound than an orange. The outer bark is not edible, but it's got a white inner bark that is edible and actually has a protein content. People in Scandinavia still dry this uh, for hard times. Medicine Man, what about that rhododendron? Uh, you don't want to eat it, you don't even want to cook with the wood. The smoke that comes off it's poisonous, it'll absorb into your meat. We could do this all day, man. We could. Hey, what'd you find there, medicine man? Uh, this is a tea berry. We're after the fruiting season. We've been here a few weeks earlier, maybe even six weeks earlier. You've seen a red berry, and that's where they got the flavoring for tea berry gum that was popular many years ago. Isn't that great, the flavor? Where are you getting the flavor from? It's just beginning to get it. What are you eating? Mitten shape. So you know it's sassafras. They made tea out of the roots for millennia. So do. Recently, within the last 20 years, we've discovered a known carcinogen in sassafras oil. So use sassafras as a tea at your own risk. I found that the young tender leaves make a great chewing gum. Are they? Uh, it's got a great flavor. So is root beer safe? Um, well, they're all synthetic now. Yeah. So. Hey, wait a minute. Guys, this is Suga canadensis. You know it as the eastern hemlock. I want you guys to notice the little white, fluffy balls on the yeah, underside. This is the woolly adelgid, and it's going to kill every hemlock east of the Mississippi River unless something's done. And that's something which should have been done, should have been done 50 years ago. There is a beetle that's been released in certain areas that will actually kill the woolly adelgid and hopefully nothing else. Yeah, they run out uh, of them where they eat. This is my favorite tree, so, eastern hemlock. Lots of water came off this mountain last night. Just like somebody dragged the rake down the hill. The rain knocked all those flowers down onto the trail like snow. This is called Greenbrier. Okay. 
the tendrils are fully edible, as is the rootstock. He will develop quite a bit of a thorn system. You see these thorns developing? Okay, greenbrier. So now you know another edible. The tendrils are great. They remind me of asparagus. Heart-shaped leaf talus, you the vine with heart-shaped leaves. There are no uh, look-alikes. Nothing looks like greenbrier to me. You can't miss greenbrier for anything else. Cool. So another edible. And this is our famous door. Here we get a view of the, the cliffs on the other side, underneath Rock Drop Trail. She's rugged over there, isn't she? Welcome Anybody? to the Nimble Gorge, guys, the Grand Canyon of North Carolina. Obviously a special place. Water running through the gorge, feeding Lake James. Uh, think of the geologic forces that created this place. A lot of people travel far out west to see something they don't know is in their backyard. Here we have an intrepid party of tenters braving the wilderness 200 feet from the parking lot at Table Rock. Looks like they're out for a day hike. Yeah, they probably went to brunch at Louise's. So here we are on the way to the chimneys. Thought I'd stop and look at this east-facing side of the ridge. Kind of hazy, but you can see over here Brown Mountain and that area. But what's most amazing is what's right behind me. Right through the trees there is Glenville Gorge. We're on a very narrow ridge. Here is Table Rock. There's the view up the gorge toward Babylon. From here on the first peak of chimneys, right next to Table Rock. Medicine man calls these blueberries. What is this other thing you said? Is this locust? I don't know why he's up here, though. I don't know, locust, I guess. You learned this one earlier? Oh, that, that's that vine, the uh, green briar. Green briar. That young sumac starting? It has those sumac. Two different kinds of sumac. To me, they're red and white. One's friendly, one's not. Yeah, wavy. It's got a young white oak. Yeah, we know. Come up in the background. It came close to a disaster. I tried to make tea out of uh, wild strawberry leaves. Yeah. And as a and before I drank it, I found, finally realized that ain't strawberries. That's poison ivy.